What a story this is. 49ers wide receiver Marquise Goodwin got a three-year, $20 million contract extension with the 49ers this week. And then he bought a new house for his mother and sister. He posted a video on Instagram of when he revealed the news to both of them. And this was exactly the reason we love sports. Wow. This video is circulating throughout the week. And Marquise Goodwin joins us now here on Sports. Senator Marquise, we just saw the video of you surprising your mother and sister with a new home, but we we couldn't hear their reaction. I'm curious, what did they say to you? Really no words, um, all actions. That's why I wanted to post the video with no sound on it, because I wanted everybody to see the true reaction uh, that my mom and my sister had. Uh, they were so appreciative of that moment, especially coming from where we come from. Um, never owning a house, never owning really anything, and, you know, being able to have an opportunity to make extra money in the league and come in and support my family like I do. Um, this video says a lot without even saying anything at all. I want your reaction when you first saw the video back. When I first saw the video, I dropped a few tears because I know um, what my mom and I and my sisters have been through in my life. Not even, you know, within my career, but just my whole life. Um, we've pretty much been in a, at a deficit my whole life, um, having to, you know, make it from the bottom. Whatever we needed to do, we just had to do it to get to, to where we are today. So, you know, watching this video brings back a lot of memories from when I was younger. All the times that I told my mom um, that everything would be all right when I had to wipe her tears growing up, when I had to encourage her and, even back to the times that she had to encourage me and give me uh, a lot of love and a lot of words when I was going through some things, you know, through high school and college and even through my adulthood. And, you know, those tears represent a lot, a lot of the pain and the sacrifices that she's made uh, so that I would have the things that I have today. When did you realize, Marquise, that you had a skill set and ability to be able to change your family's life the way that you've done? When I first began playing sports at nine, God showed me, he, he put it on me. Uh, he gave me the mental capacity to know that um, I have a gift and that I needed to maximize on every opportunity that I'd had moving forward. And so, um, you know, that being said, I, I had an outstanding season given opportunities by Kyle Shanahan and uh, Jay York and our, our wonderful GM, man. It's just the organization has definitely allowed me more opportunities to play in this league. Marquise, I want to talk about your sister for a minute, Deja. She has cerebral palsy, and, and doctors actually told your mother that she wouldn't live beyond six months. Now she's 26 years old. How has 26. your sister inspired you? My sister inspires me daily, man. No excuses for me, you know. I wake up every day or, you know, when I used to live with my mom and I would hear my sister talking to herself at 4 and 5 o'clock in the morning wishing that she could walk, wishing that she could do the things that I do, some of the things that we take for granted. So um, having somebody like that right next door to you is huge inspiration. She plays a huge part in my life huge role in my life and she's been my reason that I've strived for so much in my life and so much in my career because she can't do it. She's never been able to. So having an inspiration like that firsthand at home is uh, big for me. How might your story, your situation and your ascent now, how might that be able to help other young athletes, whatever sport they're choosing, kind of work their way through to get to where you are? Hopefully uh, this story just helps you realize that anything is possible. For all the young athletes out there, I come from a broken home, single parent household. Um, I grew up on welfare. I grew up on uh, governmental funding, Section 8 housing. Um, I grew up with all, all the assistance um, and I still made it through. So if this story doesn't do anything for you, hopefully it motivates you and allows you to know uh, that you can, you can make it through as well. Just hold true to yourself, maintain your faith, and um, continue to just work hard for everything that you want and believe that you can make it and believe that you can do anything.